debates poorly organized article obese ambitions dead on arrival tinubu hello everyone thank you for joining us once again now on today's report um the presidential candidate of the all progressive congress tinubu is saying that the arise tv's town hall meeting was poorly organized and that Atiku and Obi's ambitions are actually dead on arrival. Now let's get into the details of today's report. It says the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashiwaju Bola Hamed Tinubu, has again defended his absence from Sunday night's presidential town hall meeting which was organized by Arise Television in conjunction with the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, saying that he won't be railroaded into making media appearances. Now, describing the town hall meeting as poorly organized, Tinubu also berated the candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, and that of the Labour Party LP, Mr. Pisa Ubi, whose presidential ambitions, he said, were dead on arrival. In a late Monday statement titled, PDP and LP are confused, and signed by Mr. Bayo Onanuga, who is the Director of Media and Publicity of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, PCC. Tinubu said that he already had his campaign plans, which he does not intend to alter. The statement reads, We read with amusement the ridiculous position of the Atiku and Okowa Campaign Council and that of the Labour Party slash Peter Obi on the absence of our presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, from the poorly organized town hall debate session held by Arise TV. The separate press releases from these two dead on arrival presidential campaign offices sought to make an issue out of Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu's well thought out decision to follow his own campaign plan. The more absurd of the two positions was the one canvassed by the spokesperson of the Atiku Okowa campaign, the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubaka didn't also attend the Arise News Town Hall meeting. Yet, a spokesman out of joblessness and lack of productive venture attacked our candidates, perhaps in pursuit of a media mileage that their campaign badly needs to divert attention from their failing presidential bid. We believe that even a palace jester should have a moment of self-introspection. If this had been done, the statement would have been unnecessary. Instead of the People's Democratic Party to tell Nigerians why its presidential candidate has not returned to Nigeria after their purposeless visit to the United States, where he and his other 15 peripatetic adults were given a cold shoulder by the U.S. senior officials, the spokesperson is busy chasing shadows. We want to state again for the attention of both the PDP and the LP that Ashiwaju Tenubu will not be reroaded into media appearances and debates. Ashiwaju Tinubu and his running mate, Sinoto Kashim Shetima, have their campaign schedule that they are following and they have been holding conversations with Nigerians at town hall meetings and other forums. The Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council has clearly made its position on debates known in a statement issued by our Director of Public Affairs, Mr. Festus Keyamo San, and that position remains. We recognize that both the PDP and the Helpy have to use Ashiwaju Tinubu's name with the hope that their floundering campaign 
will gain some traction. Nigerians witnessed the show of shame and despicable exchange on live television between Mr. Peter Obi, the candidate of the Labour Party, and Dino Melaye, one of Atiku Okowa's palace jesters. Nigerians will certainly not vote for candidates and political parties that cannot maintain decorum and basic decency on national television. Now that is it on the details of um, today's report and we see that the APC is actually saying that they will not actually be railroaded into um, media appearances and um, debates and they are saying that um, the town hall meeting was actually poorly organized and um, that is why they were not there. Now, if you recall, in a previous report, same APC said that um, they already had their campaign schedule and they didn't want to alter it was why they couldn't make um, the Arise TV town hall meeting. Now, the same APC is coming to tell us that it is because it was poorly organized and um, that's why they were not available and that um, they they would they could not actually make it um, be, and they will not be railroaded into uh, making um, media appearances. Now, this beats me because you are contesting for an elective office in the nation. Now, when um, debates or town hall meetings are held like this for presidential candidates, it is actually right that you attend, that you show up and attend to actually come to let the people that you want to actually elect you into office come 2023 actually know your plans for them um, but now you are telling us that um because it was poorly organized I, I don't believe that anything has to do with the organization organization doesn't matter if a town hall meeting is held i believe that you as a presidential candidate you should be actually show up um for the people that actually want to hear from you now we're going to take one or two comments uh, please do well to drop your comments in the comment section and let's hear your thoughts and your opinions. Now, this one says, uh, Ekpeleo, Chief Decorum Officer of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, you with all the decency and composure, where was your candidate in all the other events that Atiku showed up at? Well, the campaign plan you are going on about, please share it with us so we know when we will finally see your candidate defend the merits of his plan. Now, that is a, a, a comment from um, a Nigerian, and he is saying that uh, where was this same APC candidate when other events were actually um, set up and they did not attend? And we know that of late, the APC candidate has actually been missing out on events and debates that are being set up for presidential candidates. Well, that's all we can take on today's um, report until we we'll come your way again next time please do well to like share and subscribe to our channel stay safe bye bye